guys welcome back to my channel today we are just going to be doing another one of my casual target videos which you guys seem to love target is one of my favorite places in the world and i love finding home decor there groceries there clothes there like workout stuff there anything I love it and I'm sure you guys feel the same way based on the response of my Target videos. You guys really seem to like those so hopefully you like this one as well. If you do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are not already and let's just get into all of these fall things. We have some groceries like pumpkin spice sort of stuff. We have some home decor, some cleaning products and a lot of clothes. So let's just get started. The first thing that I'm going to show you is a little pumpkin. Actually the first two things I'll show you is a little pumpkin and this is so cute. This is part of their like opal house um, home decor for fall and this is something that's like so easy. You can just like sit it anywhere in your house and it just adds a little bit of fall to the room and that's why I picked this one up. They also have it in an ivory color and they have like tall like bigger versions as well I just opted for the little one because I already have a lot of fall home decor but I don't know I just had to have it it was so cute so I just got the little tiny one another little pumpkin that I picked up is this guy this is more of like a deep wine burgundy pumpkin and at first I thought it was just like a jar but actually when I received it I got this one online it is a candle so that was a little nice surprise and this one is in the scent farm stand cider and it does smell like cider and I like that smell so that's a plus and I really mostly just love the color and the gold stem and just like the look of it I think it's really cute and again this is another one that you can just kind of sit anywhere it's very small so it doesn't have to like you know have a lot of thought behind it can kind of just place it where you want speaking of candles i did pick up another small one in the scent bourbon pumpkin i thought this would be good for our basement where patrick hangs out a lot in the man cave area a bourbon pumpkin smell might be nice this is by the opal house brand as well a little five dollar candle just a one stem candle but it smells really good and it smells like really strong so i feel like it'll be good even though it is a small candle um, so that one's really nice. I actually like that a lot and usually I'm really picky about candles and like their scents. A couple other decor pieces. I got this little leaf tray that is adorable and it was only $12.99 which I guess I don't know I was surprised by that based on like Target's other stuff that is similar. But yeah it's like a gold leaf tray that again you can just kind of sit anywhere put like your i mean if you put it in your bedroom you could put your jewelry in it that would be a nice autumn touch in there put it in your kitchen with some like mints or candies um really anywhere and i just i don't know i thought it was super unique and cute and would match like any room because it is like a neutral gold color so yeah definitely look into this guys because it's like a really nice piece for only 12.99 and then another piece that i love that's really inexpensive is this one from the like chip and joanna or joanna hank Gaines, what is her name joanna collection um i don't know but anyways it's just a clear jar and then it has these gorgeous branches in it and i have no idea what these are supposed to be so if you guys know a lot about plants and stuff let me know but i just thought it was really simplistic and just adds like a touch of fall like colors with the little berries or whatever they are on there but then also add some height to whatever space you're working with so i just put this on a little platform next to my kitchen sink with our dish soap which i will talk about next and uh, i think it looks really nice together and that is ten dollars so i mean you really can't beat that and speaking of dish soap and stuff i love the mrs myers brand from target and they have fall scents out i'm obsessed like with anything that comes out seasonally i love it so if that can get me excited for cleaning products then i'm about it you know so mrs myers comes out with three different scents for well actually i think they come out with four fall scents but i have three here to show you guys two of them you can get from target so the first is the apple cider scent and this one is in the dish so we have been using this quite a bit lately it's almost kind of already down to the label and this one smells so good and especially for a dish soap this one is good because it is like an apple i don't know it's just like a fresh smell good scent but it's still like kitcheny does that make sense that's not like sometimes i'm weird about putting a floral scent while i'm washing dishes that doesn't I don't want floral scent on my dishes that might be weird of me but that's just how i feel <laughs> um so the apple cider to me just makes sense for a kitchen scent and i love this one a lot another scent that they have that is sold at target is the acorn spice scent which is another really good one um this is a hand soap 
I really love the Mrs. Meyers hand soaps. They're really nice, lather really well. Um, we haven't opened this one yet. We've been using the Acorn Spice um, multi-purpose cleaning spray, but I think I need to break out the hand soap because this one is really good. I love, this is probably my favorite scent of all of them. It's just very like spicy, but like not too in your face. I don't know how to describe it, but this one is my favorite by far. I love it. It just smells like fall. And you can get both of these scents, the apple cider and the acorn spice. And I believe the mum is a floral, like a fall floral scent that they come out with. Um, I didn't get that one, but you can get both of these scents in the hand soap, the dish, the dish soap, the multi-purpose cleaning spray, all of those you can get at Target. Another one that Mrs. Myers comes out with is the classic spiced pumpkin scent, but I believe this one is a Grove exclusive. But I did place an order on Glow, Grove, Glove. I did place an order on Grove for a lot of other cleaning products, so I did pick up the pumpkin scent as well. I just wanted to try it, like smell it. And honestly, like, I mean, it's all right. I mean, it smells pretty good, but I do think that the Acorn Spice is like a little better in my opinion. I prefer that one. The Pumpkin Spice is a little potent. Like my fiance was like, mm, I don't know. He was like, I'm like coughing now. So that one is a little potent, but you know, if you really like Pumpkin Spice scent, then maybe you'll like it. I do. I don't mind it, um, but he was a little like, whoa. <laughs> All right, so now for a few like more random pumpkin-y things. The first is a sleeping mask pumpkin. What the heck? I was just in a fall mood one day and I just placed an order for fall stuff. So this is a pumpkin sleeping pack, an enzyme peeling pumpkin nutrition face mask. So I thought this was interesting and it is just a peel off face mask, but apparently it's supposed to be like a maybe a uses pumpkin as an ingredient or it smells like pumpkin i don't know but it seemed like a fall thing that i needed to have at the time <laughs> so that is what it looks like this is by the brand too cool for school so i will have to keep you guys updated on this i have not tried it yet and then some pumpkin spice goodies and these i'm kind of saving because i do eventually want to do a video like tasting pumpkin spice stuff I think that would be really fun and I'll make Patrick do it with me because he's like not the biggest pumpkin spice fan, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I did get a few pumpkin spice things and I will tell you guys, if you follow me for a while now, you know I'm getting married in October. So I am trying to do like a keto diet lifestyle until the wedding just to like kind of tone up, lose a little bit of weight before the wedding. So I won't be indulging in any of these things right now because they do not fit my current eating routine. But, you know, come November after our honeymoon, I will be eating all of this stuff. <laughs> not all at the same time, but I will make Patrick taste it all with me. Number one is pumpkin spice Cheerios because I know I will definitely go through these once I can eat them because they are Cheerios are like my favorite cereal ever. I love the frosted Cheerios. So pumpkin spice just sounded amazing to me. And I actually already had just a few little things of these and I really, really love them. This is a family size. I think that's the only size they had, but I really, really love these. And I'm so happy Cheerios got behind the pumpkin spice trend. I also picked up pumpkin spice milk chocolate Ghirardelli squares. I've never tried these, but like I said, saving them for a possible video. We also have pumpkin spice pretzels, which I did have one of these. I'm not gonna have one right now. Actually, maybe I will. I'll have one right now. They're not too many carbs for just like one little pretzel. Oh, even better. I'll have like a half a pretzel. Mm, so good, so good. This is the Archer Farms brand. So I really love those. And the pretzels, I will totally get you set up. Or a lot of the stuff I'll take to the office where I work. And a lot of them will eat this stuff too. And then these are the Archer Farms. <laughs> I'm like still chewing my pretzel. Pumpkin spice almonds with white chocolate coating. I ordered these online like with all this other stuff. Stupid decision because they melted. And then I put them in the fridge to make them not melty. And they're still melty. So these are kind of a fail. But you know, I'll still taste them if I ever do that video. 
If not, I'll give them to someone else. All right, so that is all of the random like pumpkin-y fall goodies. Hopefully that got, that got you guys in a fall mood. I'm so ready for fall, so ready for all the pumpkin spice, so ready for the apple picking and the pumpkin patch and all of that. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys are most excited about for fall. And let's get into all of the clothes that I got because there's quite a few. And this is during multiple trips. Like this is very like cumulative because um, I go in Target like like once a week maybe. So this is like probably the last three weeks. Um, but they still have all of this stuff available. So that's why I'm going to show it all to you. We'll start with this shirt. So this first top is a little green leopard sort of silky. This is like a leopard jacquard. I think that's how you say it where it's like not a full different color pattern but it's just kind of like in with the same color love that and it has like the poofy sleeves that are really popular right now the v-neck which is really nice and i thought this would be good for like a work shirt tucked into some nice pants this would look so chic and just really professional but still stylish and trendy so i love that one this is by the brand a new day and it was 22.99 next up is a skirt that i'm so excited about that i really never thought i would wear anything like this but i really like it also by by a new day and this is like a very heavy knit skirt and it is a midi length skirt again i thought this would be good for like professional looks but also you could tie it with like a graphic tee or anything like that as well this one runs really big though guys i had to size down and i probably could have sized down two sizes it runs very big so definitely keep that in mind but it is like a thick like i said thick knit material very very nice because it looks really good on and it's not going to be see-through or uncomfortable at all it does have a split in the back at the legs which is nice most standard midi skirts like this should this was $22.99 as well and like i said i did a size down in that next up just a basic i really needed just like a white long sleeve t-shirt so i got this one also by the brand a new day um they had five percent of all off of all of their clothing so that's mostly when i got all of the a new day stuff but yeah honestly nothing crazy to show here it's just literally a white v-neck tee and i got mine in a size large and that fits fine next up is a jumpsuit which might be kind of difficult to show you guys i also sized down in this one um a green jumpsuit it's like an army or actually it's like a forest green it does have a little bit of like shoulder padding here as well. I don't even know how to show you guys this, but it's like a wrap style up top. It is long sleeves, which is nice because I don't think I have any long sleeve jumpsuits. And yeah, it just like goes into legs like a jumpsuit would, you know. It has elastic in the waist and it does tie around the waist as well. And this is just one of those pieces that's great to throw on if you just need to be a little bit more dressed up but you still want to be comfortable and look sort of casual. I feel like jumpsuits are like that in between of like casual but still like dressed up you know so i love having a little jumpsuit and that one is perfect for this season next up is a sweater and this one is a lovely burnt orange color sweater this is like one of the softest sweaters i've ever felt and it's so stretchy and it's so beautiful oh and the jumpsuit what brand was that by because i know it can be hard okay that was also a new day and this one is also surprise surprise a new day so that clearly is my favorite brand there. Um, but sometimes it can be hard to find things on the Target website. I'm going to try to link everything below. So that shouldn't be an issue. But just so you guys know, if you go into the store instead of shopping online, you can know what brand to head to. Because now they have it like sectioned by Wild Fable, A New Day. Um, what is the other one? That kind of looks like Madewell. I don't know. Whatever. You guys know what I mean. But anyways, this is a really nice sweater. I did size down in this one as well. And it's like a longer oversized sweater. And this is my college football team's colors, one of them. So I thought this would be good for football games because I do have a couple that I'm going to late in the fall where it'll be pretty cold. Um, and I honestly got rid of I don't even think I got rid of a lot of things that I wore to college football games. I think just now when I'm not a student, like the vibe of dressing for a football game is much different than when I actually went to college there. So anyways, I need a couple things in the colors that I can wear that aren't what I already own. 
if that makes any sense at all. So this one is perfect for that. I love the v-neck that kind of has like the cable knit um, around it. So stretchy, like it's that really stretchy, bouncy, cozy material. So I'm super excited about this. Aside from the football game, this is gonna be a great sweater to have. This was $24.99. So a couple little tank tops that I got a while back, but they are both by the brand a new day but these are really cute and really great for layering so the first one that i picked up is this pink one and that's in that same like leopard jacquard sort of pattern you can barely see the leopard but like when it hits the light you can tell it's there and i really like the subtle button up right there at the top again just a really cute pink tank um underneath a cardigan would be good with a skirt with jeans you could really pair this anyway and these are really good quality. They are double lined and everything, so you don't have to worry about anything there. And then I also picked up a similar one that is not the same style, because this one's not double lined. The leopard one is also $17.99, but I did size up in this one, but I don't think I did it on purpose. I think it was just the only size they had, so I was like, mm, yep, I'm gonna get it. But I love, love, love this leopard pattern. I mean, you guys know the leopard trend is just like crazy. You can't even get away from it, so I feel sorry if you hate the leopard trend, because man it is everywhere if you love it it's great if you hate it i'm sorry but i love it and um i love this tank top it is a little big but i just i kind of like that i mean it's nice to have a couple of like oversized things i can like tie up or tuck in play around with um so this one is good for that and like i said paired with a black cardigan leather jacket black jeans skirt you could really do a lot with these tank tops for layering oh this is a fun t-shirt that i got Speaking of all of the pumpkin things, the pumpkin spice things that I got, they had this shirt and I just had to get it. You know, I don't know if it'll just be for a picture, but also just wearing around the house. My fiance will make fun of me and that's what I love. It just says, tis the season with the little cup on it. And you know, this is totally me. I am that girl that's obsessed with pumpkin spice and I get it. Like, you know what? That's, that's just the life I live these days and I just can't help it. It tastes so good. I don't get how people don't like it really. Um, you know, that's just me. So I had to get the shirt because this is who I am as a person and it, you know, needed to happen. Next up is a cute little top also by the brand a new day and this is like a little dolman um off the shoulder it's not off the shoulder but you could make it sort of off the shoulder which is kind of what i will do but um it is like the dolman sort of like bat wing sleeve going on here tighter at your wrist um no real like seam for the sleeves um which is what dolman and bat wing sleeve means so i don't know why i had to repeat that eight times so i really like this i didn't think I would but I was like mm, you need more tops like that to wear into the office just like very basic comfy not too thick of a sweater but still long sleeve I need more tops like that this was $19.99 and specifically I tried that on with this pair of pants and I thought it looked really good and these are a pair of corduroy pants from the brand Wild Fable my camera died right as I was talking about these so I just wanted to quickly um share with you guys what I had to say about these pants since it did not pick up and show you the full pant so this is what they look like they are just corduroy trousers um they do have sort of like a paper bag waistband up here and they have a really thick uh belt which i really like i think that's really nice um they just zip all the way up they don't button or anything they do have like some pleating right here but i just really had been looking for a pair of like corduroy trousers that were inexpensive because i probably won't wear them a ton um, because they are such a statement they're really comfortable they're kind of just like a straight leg almost like a mom style fit or like a boyfriend style fit but i think that they look great with something like this sweater it's just like looser off the shoulder and tucked into these trousers i think it looks really nice and that's what they look like in the back so just the same no pockets really there are pockets in the front here but other than that these are just pretty simple, trendy pants. Next up, a cardigan that I am so excited about, guys, and you guys are gonna freak over it. Actually, everyone else has already been freaking over it, so uh, hopefully it's not sold out right now. But this is a color block cardigan. If you see it in your store and you want it, get your hands on it immediately. And same for online, because I have a feeling this is going to sell out 
ASAP because this is an exact dupe pretty much for the Madewell color block cardigans that are like 75, like a crazy number. I think, I think $70 on the sale, but I think $100 regular. But anyways, this is like almost identical to the style of cardigan that is. It's honestly the same material, if not a better material. I mean, this is like a little thinner, but super soft, very like stretchy knit, very, very comfortable. And I love the colors in it. It just has like a beige, a gray, a like mauve red, and then a burgundy dark red. They also have the blue option. So if you aren't able to get your hands on the red option, maybe you could get the blue but this one is my fave. I love it. And that's $27.99, so not bad. A little graphic tee I picked up that I'm obsessed with is this one from Wild Fable. Oh, and the cardigan is from a brand, A New Day. But yeah, this graphic tee is from Wild Fable, and it is just a little graphic tee that says Brooklyn. It is very oversized. It's like a dark gunmetal sort of gray color. It's a little distressed looking. I have mine tied in a knot. I think most of them come tied in a knot but you can untie it if you want. I like that it's like a New York City sort of graphic tee, but it, without saying New York or NYC, you know, it just says Brooklyn. So that's kind of cute. And this with that black sweater midi skirt looks good. So I'm really excited about this and it was super inexpensive. This one was $14. Another sweater that I'm obsessed with is also by the brand Wild Fable. This one was $24 and this is in this amazing chenille material. I love that material. It's so soft, so fun for the fall season. And I really like the stripes of this one. It is so nice. It's a little bit cropped. It's like that wide cropped fit, which I really like. But yeah, I just think this is gonna look so good with a pair of like black skinny jeans and booties and you are good to go and you just look so freaking cute. So another cardigan I have to show you guys is one of these like duster cardigans. Again, it's like in this burnt orange, like oh, this one's almost like a peachy, I don't know, brown sort of color. Um, this one is by the brand A New Day, $27.99. And like I said, it is just one of those like long duster cardigans, which I didn't really think I would be into, but then I tried it on and it looked really good and I thought it would look amazing with booties. Um, so that's why I picked this one up. It's just a very thin material, which is good for something that's that long. Um, it has long sleeves that are like tighter, nothing too oversized. So it really, it looks good. It's like very flattering. Oh yeah, before I forget about this too, this is a an accessory from Target, also by the brand um, A New Day. And this is a little blush wide brim felt hat and i really love this it's kind of like a blush nude but it originally had a big like poofy fuzz ball attached right here and i love the hat but i don't like the fuzzy ball so i just bought the hat and like cut the fuzzy ball off it was very easy this was 19.99 and it's really similar to the one that was in the nordstrom sale this year from from brixton i believe very similar to that but yet way more affordable so if you're looking for one of these hats that you see everyone and their mother wearing on instagram then definitely look at target because they have a ton of really cute ones guys my favorite one that i always wear that's black is also from target so this is a really fun sweatshirt that i got that i'm super excited to lounge around in this fall and winter um this is like a camo print sweatshirt so the camo is like super trendy right now as you guys i'm sure know this is by universal thread that's the brand i couldn't think of universal thread this one i got one size up to be oversized and i'm glad i did so if you want it to be oversized definitely size up just a crew neck sweatshirt nothing crazy about it the sleeves have like the ribbed like material same with the hemline um but yeah i just think it's super cute with leggings and some slip-ons you could run errands travel or just lounge around your house that's probably what i will use it as but either way I really like it and you can never have too many sweatshirts. Am I right, ladies? So only a few more things to show you guys. Another cardigan, I know, but this one's kind of different. This one's in their pajama section at Target. It's by the Stars Above brand and I am obsessed with this. This is just a super large oversized beige cardigan. It's pretty long, but if you are on the search for your perfect beige oversized cardigan, look no further because I swear, guys, this one is so good it's so soft so cozy i wear it out and about but i also wear it at home with like my sweatpants and t-shirt and slippers um because it's so comfortable they only had um the extra large slash xxl available when i went but i knew i had to have it 
so I bought it and I really don't mind it it's very 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 oversized which is why I mostly just wear it around my house but I'm sure if you got your normal size it would still be oversized but like in a cute way next up is a little top that I got kind of as like a businessy sort of top like I said, I do have a few like events coming up for work that I'll need to dress a little nicer for. So I picked this one up for that. I really love the um, neckline of it. It's like not a collared shirt, but it does kind of have like a little, I don't know, what do you call that? It looks like it's going to be a button down, but it's not, which I really love. And the sleeves are a wide sleeve. So that's really unique for a business top. Again, it just is something that looks nice, but it has those like trendy, unique details along the way, whether it's with a, with a leopard shirt or um, with just having a like notch collar instead of a real collar and a wide sleeve. I'm all here for it. And this burgundy color will go with everything. It's by the band brand Prologue and it was $22.99, but it feels super nice, super thick. So if you're looking for work clothes guys definitely hit up target and then lastly another workish sort of item is this pair of pants this is by the brand a new day and i did size up in these i don't like my like work pants to be like really tight so i wanted to size up and i love these i love the plaid i think it's so nice i've actually already worn these once it's like a brown plaid so it's great for fall it looks good with anything and i love the belt detail that's like a huge trend we're seeing for the fall that like big square belt that's already attached it also has a matching blazer so if you were into like matching blazer work pant looks definitely pick up the blazer and this pant is so cute so definitely check that out. Alrighty guys, that is everything. I really didn't think I would even get through all of that that quickly. There was so much stuff to show you guys and I'm sure there's so much more. Like Target is just the place where no matter what, if you go there every single day, you could find something different to buy because that's just how cute their stuff is. Let me know in the comment section down below what out of the things I showed you today are you most excited about or what have you recently picked up from Target yourself? Give this video a thumbs up if you want me to continue doing Target videos. I mean, I won't be mad about going to shop at target again next season you know and like i said at the beginning subscribe down below if you are not already so you don't miss any of my future videos and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you all really soon in my next one bye guys